Hmm, you wake up and can't recognize your room. That's definitely it, but your desk is on the wall, and the dresser is on the ceiling. It's closed, but you can somehow see every folded t-shirt in it. You wipe your eyes, nothing changes. This isn't a dream. Welcome to the fourth dimensional world. Wait, rewind. To understand the fourth dimensional world, we need to look at the others. So a zero dimension world is just a point. Now, if you expand it, you get a one dimensional world that's a simple line. It only has one measure and that's length. The creatures living in this world can only move in one direction, either left or right. In general, a dimension is a direction in which an object can move. So now we'll add another line perpendicular to the one we have. We get a flat surface with a length and width, like a piece of paper. The flat creatures that live in a 2D world can move left and right, and now forward and backward. To turn this flat paper world into one we're more familiar with, we draw parallel lines from each corner of the square. Now we get height, the third dimension. The objects of this world have three measures, length, width, and height. They can move in three dimensions, left and right, back and forth, up and down. That's the world we live in. But now we need to figure out where to put the next perpendicular line to get a fourth dimension. It's no easy task, because this fourth dimension, as well as the fifth and twelfth ones scientific theories say could exist, are hidden from us because of the limitations of our perception. While we were going through the first three dimensions, we could see that with every next dimension, we expand the possibilities. The objects become more complicated. As inhabitants of a 3D space, we can easily imagine what 1D and 2D worlds are like because they're part of our own. But for residents of those worlds, it's not that easy to understand ours because they're just not able to perceive it. Why? Imagine you're one of these 2D flatlanders and you're living your simple flat life. If a sphere, a 3D object, somehow appears in your world, the only thing you'll be able to see is a dot that appears out of nowhere and then grows into a longer and longer line and then shrinks back down into a dot before disappearing. A flatlander could combine all these lines to get a circle. Or if he could look at it from above, he can't, that would involve height, it would just be a dot growing into a larger and larger circle and then getting smaller. Either way, our flatlander ends up looking at a flat circle, not a sphere. That's exactly what will happen to us if we try to understand a 4D object. We'll see it like a 3D object, appearing, somehow changing, and then disappearing. We wouldn't be able to make sense out of it. For example, let's take a 4D hypersphere and put it in our world. Here's what you'll see. Looks like a regular old sphere appearing, growing, shrinking, and disappearing. Good luck trying to combine the spheres all together to make sense out of its 4D shape. Okay, let's try it with something a little easier. Remember, 1D is a line, 2D is then a square, and 3D adds more perpendicular lines to get a cube. To get a 4D cube, called a tesseract, we connect two cubes. We know that every side of a 3D cube is a square. In a tesseract, every side of it is a cube. This shape looks really confusing, especially if we realize that it's a 3D projection of a 4D object on your 2D screen. Just like the Flatlanders, we're unable to fully understand what a higher dimensional world is like. Even scientists have a vague and limited perception about it. They mostly describe it in complex mathematical equations, not physical objects. But think about it this way. Technically, every single day, 4D or even 10D beings could enter our world, and we wouldn't even know it. Now, if the first, second, and third dimensions are length, left and right, breadth, back and forth, and height, up and down, what does that make the fourth dimension? How about a real-world example? There are 2D ultrasounds that show a flat black and white image, mostly made up of outlines. Then there's 3D. It's basically like a normal photograph you'd see in an album. Things have a form, depth, shadows. Then there's 4D ultrasound. This is an image that's constantly being updated with time. The fourth dimension. Some call it trength, but it's basically space-time. In and out and always. So you wake up in your room in a 4D world. The planet is a hypersphere. 
everything around you is as if you lived in a sphere. Your wardrobe is still up on the ceiling, and you need to get dressed. Wait, where are you going? Stay right there! I know you still think the shortest way from A to B is a straight line, but you're in a 4D world now. The shortest way here is through. So just look through your wardrobe, find your favorite t-shirt and jeans, and grab them. That's better! Hey, your roommate is making coffee. Let's grab something to eat, too. You could just teleport there, but let's take the long way. No, not the stairs. Through the walls and floor. Doors and stairs will probably be non-existent in a 4D world. There's your roommate. Don't be confused, he's okay. Albert Einstein called the 4D universe a space-time world. Here, the past, present, and future all come together. So, like every other object, your friend exists in every moment of his entire life. I know what you're wondering. If you can move through walls, can you move through people too? Yeah, but please don't reach into his head and tickle his brain. That's taboo in this world. Even if it can be done, it shouldn't. Here's another cool thing. You can see people's emotions. See the yellowish shadow around him? It means he isn't in a very good mood. But wait, mentally, you don't need words here. They're too slow. You can reach any person mentally within a moment, even if they're on the other side of the planet. Now, let's grab your sandwich, laptop, some work papers. Oh no, you don't need this bag. Forget it. You have pockets, right? Put it all there. You'll see it fits perfectly. There's endless space. Well, and no reason to take things with you when you can instantly teleport. Forgot your wallet? One second. Now you have it. Okay, you're a little late already. Work starts at 9 and your boss is going to be seething. But don't worry! Remember, you exist in any time, present, past, and future. Even though it's 9-12 already, just get there by 9. In fact, let's take a vacation day! Teleport to Rome. See all the sights as they were through all of time and history. Master the Italian language. Where to next? When to next? The choice is yours. You can always travel back and get to your job like a punctual hard worker. And still, life in a 4D world would probably be something entirely different than even my wild imagination can come up with. So, I'll let you finish this story down below.